Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Tashrif Sharia Rahim. I'm a student of Dhaka College. And today, I'd like to talk to you about emotional intelligence. So, I'd first like to start off by explaining why this concept of emotional intelligence bears such an importance to me. You see, to answer that question, I'd first like to explain to you what the purpose of my life is. To me, the most important thing in life is to achieve excellence. And to achieve said excellence, what I need most is relationships, deep and meaningful relationships with people that I want to be with and who share the same feeling of mutual interest with me. And I feel that if I want to effectively communicate with other people to understand what they're thinking and then give replies that actually get through to them and not just talk to them, then emotional intelligence is of paramount importance. I'd like to explain what emotional intelligence is. Emotional intelligence means perceiving one's own and others' emotions and using this perception in a positive way so that we can relieve stress, we can manage our everyday emotions and use this gained energy to conduct better lives. So, now that I've explained to you what emotional intelligence is, I'd like to say a few things to make you better understand how we can use emotional intelligence to become better individuals and a better society as whole. So, if we understand what the topic emotional intelligence means, then it isn't that hard to grasp that why this is such, such an important topic. Because we can think that a person who is emotionally more intelligent is better at managing their own emotions. He's better at, better at relieving stress. Uh, he can properly self-regulate himself in everyday life. He can motivate himself to, de to do the things that need to be done. And when an individual practices all of these things in their lives, they inadvertently are causing other people and inspiring other people to be better themselves. And when on a societal level this occurs, then the betterment of an individual turns into the betterment of a society as a whole. I'd like to say a few things explaining how we can work on our own emotional intelligence. To know this, we first need to look at the definition. The very first thing that we listen when we talk about emotional intelligence is observation. We need to observe our own actions, how we react to different situations. We need to observe how we interact with other people. When we observe all of these things, we get to know ourselves better. And using this knowledge of better knowing oneself, what we can do next is self-reflect. When we reflect upon our observations and consciously try to think of better ways, better alternatives that we can use to make our everyday life better and the lives around us better. Then the third step is implementation. Implementation means to use the knowledge and wisdom that we've acquired through observation and self-reflection. When we implement this knowledge in our everyday lives, then we ourselves can become more emotionally intelligent. We can communicate with other people more effectively we can build more deep relationships and on a societal level become a better society. That is all. Thank you all for your patience.